We're going to play Scanner Somber. This is a bloody good game. It's a really good game. That's what we're going to play. So I'm going to just change this. To change the title a bit. Somber scanning. Just update that on the stream. Cool. And let's get on with it. Turn off this music in the background. Well, this is quite a quiet game, but I'm going to turn it up so that it's what is audible in the game is audible. Because there are some little scary bits and things. But it's an interesting game. I have been playing it before. Uh, but I'm going to play a new game for this. And we'll go and take a wander. With our wee scanner. Hopefully that all runs without any problems. Well, first of all, we start in a sort of relatively normal area. But you'll see... What this is all about in a moment, I'm just making sure everything's running smoothly. We head towards the light. Wait, what's going on? I seem to be walking sideways. So we VR headset, look. We headset. A we scanner. What's it all about? Hold the left mouse button, we can fire the scanner and it shows us our surroundings. In kind of a Kind of a weird sort of multicolored dotted kind of way. So we can scan the area and kind of see see our way through this. We're scanning kind of a, a series of caves. Um, so we kind of go deeper into the caves but the only thing we've got by way of, vi of vision is this scanner. So it, it kind of illuminates the path for us if you like. Uh, there are areas where there are things in the dark, but you'll see that when we get to it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now we just need to find our way out of here, pretty much. It's not that way. Now, the only thing in this game is that it can be difficult to work out where exactly you're supposed to go, briefly. But... Essentially, you want to just uh, progress through these caves and caverns and things. It's very much just a pretty quiet sort of game. Atmospheric, that would be the best description of this. Just uh, scan a wee bit there so we can just flesh that out a bit. Nobody's been as deep as this. Thousands of years, apparently. Well, I'm going deeper. We're not deeper down yet. We're not deep enough down yet. I was utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach the surface. So if we die down here, no one will ever know. Friends told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand the obsession. You're my obsession. My obsession. Do I need some kind of background music for this, do you think? Or do we want to keep the atmosphere? I had to know if the myths were true. So yeah, we can obviously see around what all the stuff is in the area. And over time we will, uh, like, the quality of our scan will get better. I don't want to give too much away just yet. There's kind of a path here. You kind of start making things out and... And if you scan things for long enough, you start getting sort of full detail. So if I stand here... For a while, eventually these will start seeing these things kind of solidify, if you like. I don't know if we want to spend the whole time standing in one area scanning specifically, though. We really just want to get on with it. I don't even know if this is the right way. And that's one of the things with this game. There's that feeling of kind of helplessness. You know, you feel like, are you going the right way? Are you getting yourself hopelessly lost? And then you see little things that tell you that you're not. As that's a scan, those are some scanners that are kind of scanning an area for you. 
a lot of it does feel, you know, very... As you can see up above, there's a bridge of some kind that we're kind of making our way towards. And these scanners kind of show me where the bridge is. And we just kind of go on. And so there we've got uh, an aperture control. So if I move my mouse wheel up and down, the aperture gets bigger or smaller. Uh, essentially, it just means the scan's a bit more or less kind of concentrated. Could this place have been older than the legend suggested? Possibly. Who knows? We jump. This resolution was astonishing. Never before had such a powerful scanner been available. Is it astonishing? I mean, it's not as astonishing as being able to see it with your eyes, right? But here we are, we're scanning the... You think it's kind of like a VR headset with the scanner? Would it not make more sense to, like, explore the caves in VR? But then again, you can't, because no one's been this deep before. I mean, the deepest anyone's ever been. There's a, pe there's a person, look! Is that a person? There's yeah, a person, see, and they're, they're rotating as we approach them. Not Nothing we can really do with the person, but there is a person. We just have to keep going. A scanner of... Now, the thing to remember as well when you're in the game is you really want to scan below you. Especially when you come to edges like this. Because obviously you could end up diving down miles to your death, which you don't want. We definitely don't want to be doing that. Have I gone the right way? It becomes difficult to know if you've gone exactly the right way, you know? I think it's this way. There's the room with the guy in it. So yeah, you can see areas that you've been to kind of through the wall, um, but no, I, I really enjoy this, I've really enjoyed what I've played of this game so far, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where it all ends. And that retro stream didn't uh, take off very well uh, at all, mainly because the game just kept crashing out, we may as well play something else, right? This is a good game! Nice little game. Ooh. Got myself kind of lost. I think there is a way that you can get a map later on, but not, like, not yet. Keep walking. So you can kind of see where you've been. So I can zoom with the right mouse button as we discovered there a minute ago because I did it. Oh yeah, this bit is a bit where we've got to kind of pay attention to the, the bridges that are in the area. So if I look down from here, we kind of have to drop onto this bridge. It's kind of a lot of... Um, it's almost like a spray and pray kind of moment, you know, you're spraying your scan around, hope, hoping to find the right way out of here. And obviously all the noise down here is just me making all this noise. Now we go this way, but we can't go this way because, as you can see, that bridge is not accessible. If I just spray around a little bit there, we can see what else is about. But yeah, it's um, it's an interesting sort of game. What's that? Did I go down here? So we can see like strange carved things there next to these stairs. There's another one. Kind of carved all around. Uh, I 
don't think we probably have to go up towards those bridges, to be honest. Yeah, that's not going to be any use. Can we just go back up here? This way. Ooh. So it's a tense kind of atmosphere. In the dark. In some caves. You can't really tell what you're doing or where you're going. And we've got like a gaping chasms to the side of us. That make it, you know, all the more terrifying. It's probably just as well you can't see around you actually. You know, it's probably a lot easier to, to do this without being able to see around you. Right, so we can jump that bit. No, we can't. But there's a bridge right underneath me, which which was lucky. Right, but I can see that it's broken on that side, so I guess we need to go this way. I wish that had worked. I wish that driver stream had worked. But to be honest, you know, when I playing, was playing driver there, I did find that playing it now you kind of look at it and you think it's very basic, you know? Even when you compare it to like the likes of, you know, of the era, I suppose, well, later, later, but, you know, like GTA 3 or, or any of those sorts of games. Oh God, something, scre something screamed. What was it? What was that? So some sort of screaming noise coming from below. I don't know what it was really. Some some kind of noise anyway. Some kind of noise. What do you think we could do with some light background music? Just something to kind of... Yeah, hang on a second. Just some light background sort of... What do I want though? Something... I'm just worried that the music might drown out the game a bit. There we go. Let me know if the music's kind of drowning out any sound from the game, although there's not a lot of sound from the game. Anyway, they never did iron out all the glitches. What glitches? Wait, there's glitches? Hope they aren't going to cause me any problems. Sometimes you'd see sensor echoes from days earlier. Calibrations turned to ghosts. Can I go this way? There's all oh, the stairs here. I can never explain everything I saw. A little bit of light music will keep us going a bit. Oh, what have I done here? Been stuck. Can I go that way? Sometimes it's difficult to work out exactly where you're going. So you can see there's kind of a path here. There's some steps. Scan around a bit more, get our bearings a bit. <laughs> get our bearings in a place that no one's ever been before. I actually don't think this is the right way. I think we might have gone the wrong way. Although I'm not sure where else we can. Let's see. A bit more detailed scanning. I don't know if I narrow the aperture, it seems to give me a bit more detail. It just takes longer to uncover stuff. It takes a lot longer to uncover stuff. But, maybe it is this way.
That looks like a hell of a drop. Doesn't You'd think climbing these steps would be the, the way, wouldn't you? But it's just a dead end. It looks like. Maybe we'd go this way. Well, that's going to stop us. That's going to stop us that way. I'm going to turn back and go all the way back where I was. That's the way we came in. So we definitely don't want to go back that way. There must be something here that we can we can use. Just uh, do a bit more scanning until we work out where we're going. A bit more scanning until we work out what we're doing. area there we haven't scanned. Ah, here we go. Here we go. There's a path. There's an area we haven't been to. Okay. That's just a wall. There we go. Really, it's just a case of... I mean, we could scan the whole place and just see what all's about to be scanned. Actually, is that a path or is that a closed off passageway? No, that's closed. I won't get any further on there. But maybe this way we will. A lot of just fiddling around trying to find our way. Uh, do a quick cursory blast of the roof area so we can see roughly where we are, what kind of chamber we're in. So it's kind of a caving experience but without the use of your eyes. Which is quite interesting, I think. It's it makes you think, you know, about your, you know, your sight and, and how, where, you, where you'd be without it, you know, in a way. It might not, might not make you understand what it's like to be kind of blind, but oh, there's a big, there's a big chasm here. There's a thing over there, but yeah, we've got a big chasm here. Obviously, it doesn't really tell you what it's like. Oh, no, I don't want to zoom in, thanks. Okay, so we've got that. No, it's just a chasm here. Jump the chasm? No, maybe not. I don't think we need to jump it, we just need to find a way down. don't have the right gear to be jumping chasms. There's a very narrow, see like this sort of thing, right? So there's a very narrow ledge here that we can use. Did something just get knocked down? You think that's not really much of a ledge at all, Luke? Especially when you think the rock's sticking out quite a bit along it. How are we walking on this? How are we walking on this edge? Oh. Okay, we're alright. We're okay. Oh. Something's making a noise. From the depths. Okay. I've got a bit of a clear run here now. Something. What's that noise? What's that? What's causing the... Oh, look! 
something was falling past the the scanner. I don't know what it is though. I don't think we can see the bottom. Yeah, we can't scan the bottom. So let's just keep going. It looked like a body or something flew past the flew past the thing. So we may have a way onto the other side there. Yeah, like we can probably jump this. I think we can jump that, no problem at all. Yeah. Easy, right, okay. So yeah, that was a bit of an odd little glitchy sort of thing that happened there. There was some echo of something that happened, maybe? In the past? Maybe we're seeing a little more than... Uh, than we expected. It's a big area there. Whoa. It's a big open area there, like a big chimney or something that stuff just dropped into. I'm just going to scan that so that we can see the path. Basically we're just climbing again on the opposite side. But I really need to actually see where I'm going. I really need to see where I'm going. It's very tense, but also quite nice, you know, quite nice. There we go, we've reached that thing that was on the opposite side. What does this give us? We can do a burst scan now, so what that does is it lets me do that, you see. Um, the burst scan gives us a full a fuller picture of what's going on around us briefly so it kind of scans in the whole area quite nicely so you get much more detail at least briefly and you can see that it needs to charge up so but if we walk in here and do it again so as you can see it saves us from scanning the whole room up till we get to a point where obviously the, the light didn't go. I gotta go that way. Looks like I have to go that way. But yeah, so the burst scan, you just there's a little timer that just lets it Okay, that's not a path. How the hell am I getting out of here? Is this the wrong way? So we burst scan again. I'm not sure. Do you think we can get down there? Shall we try? The worst that happens is we uh, we die and have to come back to where we are. There we go. Not too bad. We just slid down the rock. That's all. That's okay. I think we're going this way. We've definitely got ourselves trapped. I hope he's got like rope and all sorts of other climbing gear and stuff. Otherwise, I'm not sure how he's getting out of here. Maybe he doesn't want to get out of here. Maybe he wants to stay in the dark forever. So you may as well use the burst scan as much as you can. Just uh, use it up, you know. It doesn't. It doesn't ever run out. You just need to wait for the timer to go back up. So it's kind of like a, I suppose you call this kind of a walking sim, but with a bit more, uh, a bit of an interesting spin on it, I think, you know? So we burst scan again. There we go. Starting to see some details. Some little things around. Looks like, are they carved or is it just... The way the light's kind of playing tricks on us. You know, because obviously it is a bit... We can't really see... Right, that's that burst's ready again. Let's just give that another wee shot. So again, just gives us a bit more of an idea of what's around us. So yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting sort of... Uh, really well made. 
I mean, there's a few bits where we have problems with where we're standing, but for the most part, it's a really well designed game. Okay, I'm gonna burst scan down there just because I think we have to slide down this rock face again. There we go. Deeper! And yet deeper again. It's, uh, yeah. The music that's on there just now is like almost non existent in volume. One sec. Skip to a different track, shall we? Very quiet. Next. Next song. There we go, that's better. I say that's better, it's a louder bit in a song, but. May as well use the burst scan every chance we get. Because to be honest, it gives us a much better idea of what's going on below us. Okay. Now, obviously, right now, I can't really tell where I'm going. Is it this way? That looks like it might be the way. Just do a burst scan to get a better idea of what's happening here. We've got a ledge going round the corner. Oh, no, not really, but we've got a ledge down there. I guess we're going to that. But not back up, so there must be another ledge here somewhere that we're trying to get to. Is that a path? I think that's a path. That's part of the problem as well, is working out what's a path and what's, what's the wall. But this burst scanner definitely helps us with, with this bit. To jump here, I think, unless there's more platform. We'll just jump anyway, just to be on the safe side. That's a very narrow ledge that we're going to have to jump to there. I almost didn't make that. Right, burst scan. So we can see a bit better. Right, this is definitely some kind of path up, but that's a big gap. I think we can still make the jump though. Yes, good. Uh, there's another jump here too. Does that then go up from there? I'm going to jump this and then we'll use the burst scan. Oh god, I jumped into the jumped into the wall. Broke my neck! So yeah, there is the risk that you could seriously hurt yourself. Where the fuck am I now? The trouble now is I don't know where the bloody hell I am. This was when we came down, okay. So, okay. You've got to be very careful with that with that draw. Alright, that's fine. We know we have to go down, 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 down. It's this edge here that I'm not so sure about. Although I think we're actually okay there. Can use the burst scan again. Let's just do this before we use it. And then if we burst scan, we can see the path a bit better. I like the burst scanner. I like. I, I just like the the idea behind this game. You know, the the scanner kind of thing is quite interesting. I think we can make this jump. Right, it's that other one we need to be careful of where we kind of smashed into the rock face. See how much of that I can catch with this burst scan. <clears throat> Quite a decent amount actually. Right, so if I'm like here, yeah that makes it okay. Oh, that's a lot less narrow than I thought it was, so that's a bit better. Right, I think we're back on solid rock for now. And we burst scan again. It really, like, properly fills your screen. I should put myself on uh, this kind of colour scheme on my camera. I think that would be a bad idea. Okay, well, just an enclosed kind of cavern at the moment. Now let's just blast this again. 
which is a pretty solid picture of where we are. And we can finish it off if we want. Don't really need to, so let's just keep going. Slightly wider beam, I think, is the best option. When we get to something interesting, though, at that point, obviously, the narrower beam would be better because it'll bring us up the detail a bit more easily. We've got the burst scan available, but let's just go a wee bit further because I think this is just... I feel like this is a fairly straightforward route at the moment. Just walk through the cave. There's not really much to see at the moment. Although we're not really seeing, what we're seeing is a representation as the light kind of makes contact with the walls, I guess. I might just give this a burst, actually. Because, as I say, you know, the burst scan, I mean, you use it all the time, so... Why not use it? Why not use it? into something it was I thought there was a weird noise for a minute. In fact let me just check something every one sec. Oops. Of course nothing, I just hear random noises now and again when I'm doing stuff and I'm not sure what they are, you know. Okay, uh, where the hell am I going here? This way? I guess so, this looks like a path. First scan, must be available surely. So, it, I mean it restores itself pretty quickly. I don't think we can go that way. Is that a path? Uh, where am I going? Okay, we'll need that burst scan again. It's not quite ready yet. There it is. Of course, looking at it this way, I don't know if it's going to help me that much. There is a there is a platform there. Okay. okay. That's daunting. More than a little daunting. Look at this. Massive vaulted kind of... I want that burst scan again. I want to just burst scan this and see. Well, I might have caught all of it already. Let's just burst scan this area just to see what it looks like. Interesting. That gets us over there as well, Luke. Gives us a lot more detail of what we're looking at there. Is this. Is that a path down or do we have to jump? I'll just jump anyway. Doesn't hurt to jump. It might if you jump from the wrong place. A bit more detail. Gives us a better idea of what we're looking at. It's a big, big cave. As you can see, we, I mean, we can hit the detail on the walls quite easily there. There's like a big, look, that's a big gateway. Oh, Is it that way we're going? Let's give that a wee burst and see what happens. So we've got like a big like hallway carved into the yeah we can't go any further in there. But as you can see it's like we're inside, I don't know. Some ancient civilization's homes, I don't know. Not homes maybe, but let's just give a wee burst that way. From from a better position if possible. Can see how far down that goes. We can. That's still going down. Still goes down. Can I scan this area that I'm walking on? That might have been a better option. At the same time, you know, there's so much detail that it gives you if you do the burst scan. Like here, we've got another one of these doorways. Some ancient civilization built something here a long time ago. 
The burst scan really helps you to kind of take in the surroundings a lot more, you know? Because from here you can like make out everything. Look, there's carvings in the... On the left there's a skeleton and on the right there's something else. Let's do the burst when we get up here. There's a tree there. I don't know if that's... The temple must have been over a thousand years old. Must have been. Very old, whatever it is. I knew they existed. I'd searched for the cultists all my life. So there were cultists of some kind down here. And to finally see it in person, to be the first. Well, you're not the first person to see it in person, are you? I mean, presumably these people did before. Pillars. Is that a carving or is that just rock? I think that's just rock. It's interesting. Another reverse scan. It makes it easier to make out our surroundings. And it's quite interesting because it gives you a lot of detail, you know. Looking back, you can see what we've just come from. Really nice. And I say it's tense, but it's also quite calming as well, you know. Just just doing this, just relaxing with this. Take your mind off anything else you've got to worry about. Some spooky, eerie scenery. much longer left, but I really want to see what we can find here. Some sort of antlered creature, look. Was this what they were worshipping? Is this something out of uh, the Elder Scrolls, look? Oh, something's causing me to be a bit glitchy. I think. I mean in the game, I don't mean that I'm glitching, but I mean that the, the game obviously has things that you can notice through glitchy sort of bits when they happen with the technology we're using, I guess. I guess we're going this way. There's like rustling noises now. I don't know if that means there's something here. stairway. Okay. Interesting. First scan. So we've got another one of these statues, like the head of one of these statues on the ground. That's the whole statue actually. Fallen on the ground. Still upward. Ever upward. There's lots of these. There's two of them there. I'm not going to use the burst scan just yet. Let's use it when we get up at the top. Let's use it here. It's just another. It's great the way it, it really gives you a, a proper feeling of the depth of everything and the, the detail of everything, you know? It really does. It's really nice. Really nice. I've got the burst scan again, let's use it. So what kind of cult was this, do you think? This is where they performed the sacrifices. Oh here, you didn't tell me it was gonna be that kind of cult, man. Definitely can't get behind that. We got a burst scan yet? I wonder if we burst scan of this area from here. Yeah, give us a burst. Give us a burst. Gives us a much better idea of what's happening. So this is like an altar? A sacrificial altar of some kind. And a 
around it we have, well thankfully there's no remains on top of the table I don't think. What are these I wonder? Should we do the burst scan again? Hopefully it'll clear things up a bit more. So that is, yeah just a, an altar. Those things just like flare up when I stood near it. No. I guess we're going this way. Well, there's something over there, look. And here, if nobody's been here before, what? why are all these items, these upgrades for my scanner here? Let's uh, burst scan that, actually. Who put these here? Was the scanner built by these cultists and we're just discovering it for the first time? If so, their technology was uh, very ahead of its time, wasn't it? Just do a bit more scanning. Just to see what we can see here. Move in a bit and do another burst scan. Just give us a bit more detail. Look at this place. Something's glitchy. That means something's about to happen. Or something has happened. Oh look! We're watching a ritual, the people actually doing what, whatever their ritual was. I'm just going to do a burst scan before I pick that up. That wailing depth. So now we can see a map. And with that we can see that this is the temple. We can see a lot of marked areas where I guess we're supposed to go. Um, but yeah, that's that's our map to kind of what we're doing. I always wondered how many poor bastards they threw over the edge. Well, let's not try and be the next one, yeah? Go down there and find out. Let's not. I think the way out's up here. Do another burst scan just to get a better idea of what these stairs and walkways are like. I wonder what these. It's wood. Are these just suspended with rope or. I wonder how they're suspended. Wires? Obviously, that's impossible to tell uh, in this. All it tells us is whether there's a solid surface or not. Whether we burst. Path going up there. Okay, interesting. I have to admit, the last time I played this, I didn't use the burst scan as much as I probably should have. I want to see how much detail it gives me in some of these areas. It really is a nice tool to make use of. Let's just uh, do a burst again. Cultists believe the cave itself was malevolent. God, don't tell me that. Their victims were doomed to relive their final tortured hours forever. What, you think they fell down there and they were still alive? I doubt it very much. No wonder people went mad down here. I mean, you know, you live in a you live in a system of caves, you're probably not gonna probably not gonna retain a normal outlook on life, are you? So there's a path there. Have I got the burst scan again? So yeah, I'll definitely come back. Definitely uh, come back to this game though. Do a bit more of it. I think Wednesday. As I say, I was looking to make it more of a retro game sort of thing, as well as the kind of watch parties. But now I can also do some multiplayer games and stuff like that on stream. I might. Uh, Let's see how that goes as well at some point. Because I couldn't really do it before. Where the hell am I going? I couldn't really do any multiplayer games at all, to be honest. I know that's not entirely true. Uh, is this the right way? Oh, here. Yes, that's the wall 
that was... Give me a first stand there, would you? So I can see what's happening. There's a wee, there's a wee stool, look! See, that's the other thing, when you come up close to this stuff, you don't see it. It's only when you get the kind of spectrum of light kind of playing across it. Because that's obviously what gives you the depth. Okay, we've got uh, another chamber. Let's just do this again. There we go. Just take the corner as well. Just to really... So if we look at the map, it kind of shows us where we are and what we've done. If we methodically make our way through it using the burst scan, then everything should look a lot more interesting. Uh, is that ready? Is it? Not quite. There we go. But if we do the burst scan, it gives the, the map image a lot more uh, body, obviously. It makes the map image much more solid. Which is interesting. What's this room? Gives a wee burst scan. Let's see what this room's all about. It does add more time to it by doing that, but it probably actually makes it more interesting if we take our time rather than kind of rushing through all this. We actually get a much better idea of what's going on. A burst scan, I think. You ready? Good. So that's giving me. So it's a pretty big. Pretty big kind of prison, if this is what it was. This is where they kept their prisoners or the people that they were doing whatever they were doing to. What the hell was that? I definitely heard something that time. What's down here? So I'm using the wider pattern because it, it makes it a bit easier to kind of make out what's going on. What's around us. But then yeah, the burst scan obviously just gives us that little bit more feeling of kind of what's happening here. Like there's noises from somewhere inside. Somewhere in the depths of this place. We're hearing stuff stirring. Moving around. We're hearing it all! Don't know what we're about to come across. What this cave system might have in store for us. As yet. First scan's ready. Is there a path that I would be able to take there? I'm not entirely sure there is. Let's do the burst scan. Just to get a bit better resolution on this. Could it be that way? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I missed that. It could be this way. And probably is. More benches, more cells, I guess. I'm not sure, actually, is this? Is this going to get me out of here? Just, uh, burst it. Okay. Have we not been in this area? Nope, we haven't, because we haven't seen this stuff yet. Another burst. I'm going this way, I think. What's the map looking like now? So you get a pretty good picture of what what's going on. Ok, 
kind of of what we're letting ourselves in for. Is that a path? Or is this a path? I think that's the path. Just uh, check it a bit more. In a bit more depth. But yeah, so I'm really I really quite like the feel of this game. It's got that right level of tension. But also a sense of kind of wonder about what you're seeing, you know? I'll have to just first scan that. That looks like a big chamber we're about to go into. Okay. Is this not just above that altar that we were at before? Yeah, no, because that, that's the other walkway. How was that? I oh, know it's those two red dots. I thought we were seeing eyes or something. Eyes in the dark. It's the last thing you want to see, right? In a place like this, eyes staring back at you. Especially when you can't really see what it is. You don't want to fall down there. Scan. Scan, scan, scan. That's all we do in the game, just scan. But... It's an interesting little... It's an interesting little sound. Interesting little sound. Do 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 Burst. Are we burst? First are we burst? That's what's happening. So I don't know where we're going. I think actually if we look at the map it does show us areas we can go to, so it looks like we're heading towards a monastery. How how we know where these places are, I'm really not entirely sure. Because as you said before, no one's been here. Unless there are charts and maps, I suppose, left by the people who built it. Although why would they leave maps if they didn't want anyone to be here? wouldn't, would they? Kelda slept and ate here. Did they? Very good. Like the monks who came after, they spent their time in silent prayer to an unanswering god. But what is the... what was their god? Who was the god of these cultists? Path, or is that a... No, that's not a path. Let's, uh, let's have a burst here just to see what we find. I guess it's uh, on the left there. Right, back to normal scanning for now. Until we get a chance to do the burst again. Oh no, maybe not. This is not the way. I'm going to burst from this direction just to get a better idea, better view on what I've kind of walked past. Okay. Where did we come in this room from? We came in it from there, didn't we? We came in from there. So where, what's that bit over here? What could be here? Yeah, there we go. Now if we turn off the scanner we can tell that we've not been here. First scan, please. Nice. Uh, okay. The table. What do we find? A lot of tables. Not much else to see. Another burst. 
this is like the monastery, this is the place where they slept and ate and lived their lives, wherever the hell they were. Would you want to live your life in a cave like this? Obviously, um, our ancestors at some point did, but I don't think, I don't think I'd like to think about what it would be like living in a system of caves like this. No, I think there's a path there. I'm going to do a burst scan just to be absolutely sure. Just to get a better idea of what we're looking at. Ah, oh, there's a path up there. Let's have a look at the map again. So this is the monastery. This was the monastery. Well, let's keep going. See what else we can see. So if you look down, obviously we can see all their beds and tables. Where they slept, where they ate, where they did whatever they did. That's a door. Burst it. Just gives us a better understanding of what we're looking at. And a lot of people probably would just be looking for where's the path, where's the path? Rushing through this. I wonder if anyone's done like a some kind of speed run of this game. You'd have to pretty much know where everything is. I'm gonna do this. That's a good burst. The only way I could see you speed run in this game was if you knew where everything was and you just ran without using the scanner. But, I mean, you'd have to be... You would have to have some amazing memory and uh, ability to do that. Oh, first again. That'd be quite interesting to see. I might look up, I might look up something like that, actually. See if anyone has actually done that. There's this guy. The music actually works quite nicely. Low melodic drones is what that's come under, so... don't know. It's on uh, Epidemic Sound. Which I find was a lot better than all the alternative. Oh, there's a, there's a chest there, look. Can't, you can't access anything like that. All you can do is kind of see things. Um, got another burst coming up. I feel like this is the way we want to go. So I'm just going to do a burst. Just make it clearer. And yeah, there's clearly a cave entrance up ahead. It's going to take us somewhere. Somewhere, where, I don't know. Another big chamber, empty chamber. So look at that map. It's leading us somewhere. Don't know where, but it's leading us somewhere. That whole area wasn't caught by that scan, so we'll just give it a quick once over. Got a better idea what we're looking at. Again. Doesn't hurt to burst it. No, oh, I need to finish soon. I need to finish soon. Let's see if we can get to another interesting chamber before we do. Oh, now it's ready. So we can get to another chamber with some interesting stuff in it and then we'll probably finish up there. It's annoying the driver didn't work, but actually I like this game. Pity that it didn't uh pity that it didn't work though. I mean it did for a while, but 
not long enough. But potentially this might be a bit more interesting anyway. What do we have here? What's this? Oh look, those are moving. So I am assuming those might be water. The ones that are kind of moving are water. So yeah, they don't stay in one place. Just a burst scan here, and you see what I mean? Maybe. See, there's areas where it's scanned and then it's disappeared. So this is obviously, we're above water. There is something interesting about the water. Which you'll find out later. In the game. Don't really want to give it away right now. What I do want to do is another burst scan when it's possible to do so. I mean I can see where we're going but I just want to burst scan the room again. Just so we can see the detail a bit more. We'll look behind us. So we can see where we came from. It's just great that you kind of you know make the world around you as you're walking around. first you know so it gives you a much better kind of picture of what's going on in the area um, I'm gonna do a burst scan there even though I don't think that's where we're going that music's maybe a little bit too uh, too exciting for this moment. For this game maybe, you know, you want just a bit of atmosphere really. Doesn't hurt, but I'll just stick with it. There's a cave there I can see. One more burst scan in this area then. And then we're gonna go through these caves. Got a bit. It's a burst scan here, I think. Full of water. I go for a wee swim. I can't use the burst scan while I'm in the water. I can't use the scanner at all while I'm in the water. Once I'm out of the water, it takes a minute to just adjust itself. There we go, we've crossed that chamber full of water. So there's okay. But yeah, there's more to see. to see in this area. Give me another burst scan please. Okay, another burst scan there. Let's have a look at the map as well. 
There's a lake entrance somewhere over there. I don't know if I'm going the right way now then. Is that a cave? No. So there's a lake entrance ahead. First scan's available again. More water. More water in here, look. So we're going to give it another burst in a second. Just so we can see exactly what we're looking at here. Chamber full of water. Not much else to, to, to see. Don't know exactly where we're going here, so give us a burst scan of this wall. Doesn't look like there's anything to see over there, does it? That looks like it just goes back to where we were. The witch trials came much later. Oh, oh yeah. Just drag witches down here and purge them in huge numbers. Evil throughout the ages. Oh yeah. They believed in the myths, there's no doubt. That's why they chose these caves, apparently. We want to imprison the evil down here as eternal punishment. I don't know, you know, witch trials seem like a bit of evil to me. I don't go anywhere there. Maybe we can go this way. Wait, was that where we came from? Is that where we came in? Yeah, we came this way, didn't we? Into where? Oh shit. Got myself lost. Oh, here. Maybe here. What was here? Is there a way out of here? Where first scan. Oh, do I have to go in the water? What the hell's that? See that? There's something in the water there, Luke. So if we go in the water, that thing will come after us. We can't quite make it out. But there's something in the water. So we need to kind of try and stay on land as much as possible. Otherwise we're going to get attacked by whatever that is. I assume it's a witch. Give me a burst scan please. I need to find land. That I can run to. I think we need to make it across there. Comes. I think we're okay as long as we're standing on the uh, on the ground. It's only when the water's there we need to be careful. It's a good place to get to actually to then escape. I don't know if it's that way we need to go. We're facing this way. Probably is that way we need to go, but there's absolutely no way. that land over there. 
Quickly, 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 quickly. Alright, we're out. Now we need to wait. The tension just rolls. Now the music makes sense. <laughs> right, so that was some sort of thing, and that's not. I did wonder if it was true, Cross. No way they were just glitches. Yeah, you're probably right. Not much chance that those would be glitches. What horrors must they have seen in their final moments? I'd rather not think about that, thanks. Probably some really nasty ones. I think the way these people were treated. Now, a lot of the a lot of the stuff that you hear about the sort of trials and stuff isn't entirely accurate, but you know, they kind of imprisoned people, but they still treated them like pariahs. I mean, perfectly decent members of whatever town society they were part of, you know, and they would suddenly just everyone would be expected to hate them because somebody decided that they saw them, I don't know, you know, conversing with the devil or something. There's another path there. But it seems to just hit a dead end. Where's this go? Is that land or is that water? Some of that's land, some of that's water. First. Please. Okay. Down there. With that thing being just behind us, I get the feeling we want to try to stay out of the water here too. I get the feeling we just want to stare at the water for a while. Stay away from whatever the hell that thing was. I don't know how straightforward that's going to be. I don't know if we'll continue to have convenient walkways. Is that a walkway? Or is that a wall or is that a dead end? That looks like a dead end to me. Maybe if I just scan it in a bit more detail. That looks like a dead end to me. I can go that way. Okay, we can go this way. I've learned my lesson about water. We're not going in the water. Interesting though, these are obviously cages that they would have put these people in. When they did what they were doing. I'm just hoping one of these things doesn't uh, doesn't decide it doesn't want to just stay in the water. But maybe the water is the only way they know where I am. That looks like a path. It's over there. No, 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 no. I'm not messing around, but there's water there. There's a path there too. Do they both go to the same place? If I do that, that should probably show me both paths. Well, that would have been a path, but look at it. Broken, isn't it? See, now, I'm wondering... My technique of doing the burst scan all the time... It's probably given me a lot more detail than you necessarily going to always see. There's a thing over there. Look, you can see it all the way over there. I'm just going to burst here just to see what this is. What's this? Well, 
the path's not broken. Okay. There's a thing over there that I want to try and look at. Okay, so we found another area. Give me a burst there. We're safe enough here. There's something over there, look. I don't know if you can see it now because of the because I filled up the area a bit more more. It looks like it's up here. Whatever it is. Some sort of piece of equipment somewhere. I'm sure I saw it. It's a lot of water. Not a lot else that we can see apart from water. Oh look there it is. There it is. Hearing stuff shuffling around in the water. Okay, let's go straight to that. Just do a wee burst just to get it all in. It sounds like there's something right below me in the water. Like it knows I'm here. I guess it's not allowed to come out of the water. It's not all land. Sensor upgrade, the resolution's been increased. I feel like we're getting to the point where it might be worth finishing soon. Lake exit. This way. Well, that'd be good. More resolution's good. That's all this. More resolution's good, so we're getting a lot more information now out of our regular scan. Just look. Person under the bridge, like, hung up under the bridge. In a cage. Just do that quickly. Right, we're going this way because this looks like it goes towards the exit of the lake. Yeah, there's something here. I don't know if it's what's under there. I need to really do another burst scan. And I can kind of see where I'm going there. In fact, I can see where I'm going there. See that we're going to have to make some jumps. Get out of here. If we fall in this water, we're dead. I mean, there's land there, but I'm not sure that I can make it to it quickly enough. That felt terrifying. the way out of the cave. It would be interesting if the thing followed me out of here. Is this the cave? Is this the lake exit? Oh, it was, yeah. See? They're screaming. Probably realised that they could have had dinner. Now they're just going to have to eat the lichen off the bottom of the... Oh, who knows? Right. Lake exit. I need to finish up. <laughs> Need to finish up soon. Probably make it to wherever this takes me, and then that'll be it. I think. Let me burst scan, please. Let's see what the hell's in here. It's one of those games that's really interesting to to play. You know. Really keeps you hooked. Water here, should I be wary of the water, do you think? Or was that scream from those things enough to tell me that I don't need to worry? There's a boat. Can I use it? Oh, I can. I did not know I could use the boat. 
I've actually been to this part of the game before, but I didn't know that I could I could take a boat down this water. It meant I spent ages uh, going along the edge, scanning whenever I found enough land that would allow me to do it. But now I can actually scan the whole area. So that's interesting. scanning the water. At least we're in a boat, we're safe. Yeah, believe it or not, when I played this before, the way I was scanning, I obviously didn't take as much detail in as I'm taking in now. I didn't even know this boat was a thing. That's good. That makes more sense, because I was basically wandering in complete darkness for ages. What's this map looking like now? Quite nice. Another reverse scan, if you don't mind. Well, I wish I'd done it once I'd actually got through here. Look at this. Massive cave. Still sailing along. I don't know if there's much left of the game to play, actually. Like, I feel like maybe this is reaching the end. Do we see daylight around this corner or something? I don't know. I don't need to do a burst just yet, but when we're in this corner I will. What the hell's going on? Am I stuck? I almost got myself stuck there, the way I was turning. Turning properly yet? Oops, that was my fault. That was entirely my fault, I think. Almost got myself stuck. What was that? Is that a walkway? Or is it just... It's just rocks. There's another wee burst scan. This would be a good place to do a burst scan. Maybe not here, but this place coming up. It's hard to do it now, to be fair. Just a better idea of what we're heading into. I think I just held the direction for too long. The trouble here now is I don't know if this music's the music I put on or music from the game. Give me one second. This is music in the game. Let's go back to the game then. This music makes me think we're probably at the end. It seems like they were thinking about Pink Floyd or something when they... Uh, Made this music. It's got that sort of feel to it, you know. I think we're at the end, so do you know, I think I'm gonna just see if I can finish. I think we must be close to the end. Just the way the music is. way everything is right at this moment. I feel like something's about to happen. Whether that's us reaching the end of the game or a huge lake, look. Huge lake. Huge underground lake. Or it could be leading us to somewhere entirely different. 
I feel like this is just the way the music was there that this should be the end of the game. And now it's gone back to just atmospheric noise. So I'm not so sure. Guess we'll see. Maybe that was just a bit of light relief from from what we had to deal with before. Because that would have been quite tense, I think. That would have been quite tense. Especially if you weren't scanning, like if you weren't doing all the burst scanning as much as I was there. Oh. Boat's having trouble. Give me another burst. Please. Obviously it's only going to show us so much in this cavern. Noises. Creaky noises. We're going straight ahead. I think. Let's just burst scan that and just make sure there's something ahead of me. I might be getting out of the boat in a second. Because this looks like it's finishing. I would say we're heading towards that cave. Or whatever that is. I would say we're finished in this area. What is this we're heading into? What are we heading into? I'm going to finish in a minute. In fact, that's a good place to stop. If we're about to pick up another bit of gear. Look, it's another weird glitchy person. Get my way. What's this one? Material scanner. Oh yeah. Now I've got a different sensor mode. Look, I can scan. This is a good place to stop actually, because this is a this changes things a little bit. So many have died down here. This changes things slightly because it gives us a new tool to look at like items, so we can make out items a bit more, a bit more interesting, a bit more easily. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably where we're going to finish for just now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me play a bit of Scanner Somber, uh, and we'll probably play that again at some point soon. I don't know when exactly, but I hope you'll, I hope you'll join me when I do. For now, though, um, I'm a little bit later than I usually would be, but I think I should finish. Thanks very much, and good night.